Uh, a, let me see. You got anything? I see a funny question that I I don't know how to answer. Is Unreal better or worse than Unity? <laughs> That's a loaded question. I I think I'm gonna take a stance on that. Oh, I, okay. Uh, I cannot take a stance on that. So you're on your own, buddy. I used to say no, and I used to say no for about six years. Hmm. I begrudgingly accepted. Unity is easier to work in, especially because I came from a .NET background. And I've even, by the way, I do have a little bit of chops in, in Unreal as well. I, I almost exclusively work in Unity now, but I used to use uh, Unreal back when it was UDK, or UDK was the developer version, hmm. while uh, UE3 was the version you'd pay for. And that was the, the, the one you'd use if your game was. You basically build it in UDK, and then you'd pay for a license, which would give you access to UE3, which would then let you commercially distribute your game. So I've done that stuff in the past. And I used to say it was better because its, it's rendering engine is just fundamentally better. At least it was for years. Mm. Um, as for whether you're... And also, just C++ is just more performance. It was better in every... But literally every year of every Unite, it's been harder and harder to tell something has that Unity look. For years and years, lots of <laughs> games had that sort of, oh, look, it's a relatively default skybox. The lighting yeah. fall off is fairly universally identical. Project. They all have a similar sort of sheen to them and everything looked <laughs> identical. But specifically the last two years, one after another, I, I'm looking at them going, I actually couldn't tell. There are, there are games like Tarkov, which is one people trot off a lot. And then there's like Pollen and a few others. You can just, you, you could make a screenshot set of them. Um, and just say which of these are made in Unity, and you wouldn't be able to tell, because they've managed to get the, the visual um, fidelity to match equally, if not better in, in certain cases. Mm. But on top of now being able to match visual fidelity, it still has the benefit it had way at the beginning, the thing which sold it before all of this stuff, which is the reason people picked Unity, is because of the interop and deployability. Mm. Uh, it's just that if you build any project in Unreal, it will run worse on phones than Unity will. And that's not a fault of Unreal. It's just it's a bulkier engine. It's got a lot more visual fidelity and pack and punch behind it. Now, with the newer UE4 stuff, they've, they've made it more efficient than it used to be in the past. But it used to always be the case that it would have a harder time running on mobile. And now, Unity in general runs on everything. If you're building a game for Unity, the amount of turnaround time to port yourself from different platforms, and we live in a digital age. Everyone wants to port in every platform now. <laughs> yeah. That it's very hard to beat that competitive advantage. So if someone said to me, I'm making a game, what platform would I build it in? Even if you still think Unreal looks better, fact is, the amount of potential revenue you can earn <clears> from <throat> distributing on so many platforms, Unity is just the de facto best game engine right now. It just is. Like it's, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't fight that anymore. It's like, you can even deploy to have the visual edge. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can build anything. You can literally, like, yeah, you can build it literally anything. So I don't know. So yeah, I will officially say as of, Maybe last year, probably is officially the moment I put my foot down that I'm now 100% in the Unity camp. I think it's very hard to make a case anymore. Yeah. Aside from if you want to get really pedantic about C++ performance or something, but realistically, I think you're, you're, you're fighting a losing battle on that front too, because once we bring in all the dot stuff, I mean, Unity's going to have the edge on mobile performance, on visual mm -hmm. fidelity, on you know, interoperability between different devices. The only thing that's missing is a good network stack. Once it gets yeah. a good network stack, Unity's and, going to and basically win. Although input, and it, they, they do have assets for that. But yeah, you know, it'd be nice to have it built in. Um, there we go. There's my, I, I officially said it. I prefer Unity <laughs> almost entirely now to Unreal. What about, uh, have you ever used Godot? I don't know how to pronounce it. I never it. did actually, no. Godot? That's one I've literally never had an opportunity to use. Or well, reason to use it, by the way. Yeah, the, the same here. I've never had a reason to use it. It looks cool and the developer seems really cool too. I've seen, I've just happened to follow a lot of his videos and just things that I've seen on on reddit but yeah it's like uh, i just can't I did see use a reason a ogre back in the day you oh, use ogre? i've heard of it never used it <laughs> i used a xna I, for a little bit yeah yeah I, I used xna and before that i used action script three and before that i used original action script two, action script two. nice um yeah been through that whole pipeline i even used silverlight briefly when that was a thing oh my gosh wow <laughs> <laughs> but like i basically blinked how old is this guy it was gone. Yeah. Uh, been doing it for a while yes i've been through a lot of different technologies today <laughs>